Hello everyone. Um, this is definitely uh, two months late, almost three months late. Time is relative. Time is a relative. <laughs> So, uh, if you guys remember um, and been paying attention, we've been uploading October Horror Fest reviews throughout the last two months. Yeah, we are a little behind on the projects, but um, the good news is we got it all finished within one year. <laughs> yeah, that last review you saw, Halloween Kills, was recorded on Halloween night. And this is our next Horror Fest um, review done on uh, December 26th, the day after Christmas. So, Merry Late Christmas for the October Horror Fest Award Show. Woo! So, here's the official October Horror Fest top three. Of, Cree of Krieger Margin. Mine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the, the easy ones first. In my deal, my top three movies for all of October Horror Fest were at coming in at number three. Um, at, uh, was Halloween Kills. Um, coming in at the second best was Would You Rather, and the best um, the best one for me is Train to Busan. Uh, those are my favorite films that we watched. On the other end of the spectrum, my least favorite that we watched. Number one, in each one of these, you can there's at least thirty minutes of clips of me complaining about how bad they are, so I'll reiterate it again in this format. Yep. Here are the links below. So, my number three worst one is The Collector. I rated that as number four, and I feel like that one was really bad. Well, technically, you gave me that rating, like, last week, because you fell asleep during it, but I, I needed a number, so... It was the only film that I could not finish out of all of the films, because it was so god-awful. Black Sheep was the second worst. God-awful at a 3.5. No. No, 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 no. And officially, the undisputed champion of the worst film... I feel like it's going to have is The Rage. <laughs> that was thanks to IMDb ranked it in the top 200 horror movies of all time. Um, bottom three. Uh, no specific order. Um, the Rage. Um, probably Am the 2005 Amityville Horror because it was kind of a disappointment. And everyone should know this. Lamageddon. For me, Lamageddon was the worst film in Horror Fest history and the worst film I've seen ever. You think, it it you committed every single cardinal sin when it comes to making movies. You think it's worse than Lamageddon? I mean, Thanks Killing? It is worse than Thanks Killing. Are you surprised that did not hit my bottom three? No. I'm not <laughs> surprised. Are you surprised it wasn't on my top three? <laughs> yes, I'm not. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't in your top three. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, so that was your bottom three. What Those were my bottom three. Um, based off experiences, if I were not, not to go off my numbers, um, I would say that the three films that I actually enjoyed and surprised me the most were Halloween Kills, because I really I went into this seeing the, the prequel to this film, and I actually really enjoyed it in theaters. A couple things here and there could have done better, but yeah, I'd say that number three. Number two, I would put it... I would actually put Crawl at number two because I was actually really surprised by... Because I don't really watch that many monster, like, creature feature films. And that one for me was actually pretty decent. As you might know, I go through random shows on Netflix sometimes. Yes, and that, I, I'm just saying that that's one of the better, like, creature features I've seen in a very, very long this time. This movie for me was Dime a Dozen. I think also it's quite honestly that my number one favorite film that surprised me the most was honestly Train to Bu uh, Busan or Busan. Because it's funny how, like, we both put that film as, like, our favorite one, experienced-wise. Because I think, it w was it subtitled? Yes, it was a subtitled Yes, one. it was a um, subtitled uh, foreign horror movie, which Krieger is kind of known for not liking certain foreign films. I went off on the film for it not being American. Yeah, yeah but... It was actually done very, very well and actually had a really good story going for it. So, I'm going to be doing uh, top tens for both me and Krieger here. Top ten, you say? Yes, based off our own personal ratings that we did in the videos itself at the moment of us recording the videos. These top ten movies, they're, we have the same top ten, but they're in different spots. Pretty I can much. understand that. There's deviations on times that you're wrong. 
<laughs> um, so my number 10 at 6.3 was 1922, whereas your number 10 was The Taking of Deborah Logan with 6, six out of 10. Number 9 uh, at 6.5 was Terrifier for me, and your number 9 was 1922 with 6.2. Number 8... Um, it's 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 the same across uh six and a half out of ten hell house for me and six and a half out of ten for hell house for you it planted number eight i literally had the same numbers position in the movie ah i had this one higher uh the taking of deborah logan was at number seven with 6.8 out of 10 whereas for you you put halloween kills at number seven with 6.7 out of 10 See, and I think that was an example of why Devil Logan was lower is because the production value was kind of lesser. Mm -hmm. And then and then Halloween Kills, I feel like they don't do good pacing on that series. Number six, I actually kind of have a three-way tie, but I'm just going to go at number six. Uh, with seven out of ten at number six, Halloween Kills. And seven out of ten, number six for you was Crawl. So I had Halloween Kills a bit higher than you did. Uh, number five... Again, 7 out of 10, Would You Rather. And number 5 with a 7.2 out of 10 was The Invitation for you. Number 4, this is the final 7 out of 10 for me, was Texas Chainsaw The Beginning. And number 4 for you was Terrifier with 7.6. Any thoughts so far? Ah! And now we're getting into the top 3. This is where it's going to get very interesting. Um, number 3... For me, it was Crawl with 7.5 out of 10. Your number three with 7.8 out of 10 was Would You Rather. I can see that. That's the best one. Number two for me was The Invitation at 8 out of 10. And your number two at 8.5 was, tra was Train to Busan. And my number one at 9.2 was Train to Busan. I'm Same surprised. Same my top three. And your number one was Texas Chainsaw the Beginning at 9 out of 10. That was a good movie. So like I'm surprised that the invitation was in your top three. I kind of was too. Like it's 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 at number two for me right here, and I'm surprised that I gave it like a higher a rating. Mediocre kind of movie. Yeah, I mean, I I, I still liked it a lot. Um, it's an example of a movie. Well, it's link, a lot better than most of the films on this list, I would say. Link to our review so you can hear our detailed thoughts on this. Before we get into the best of of this year, um, I'm going to announce this right now. The Worst horror fest film of this year was honestly both of our bottom three was The Rage with point zero five five out of ten. That movie, it, it was, didn't even make a one. It was overall. It was also interesting because I didn't go into that movie thinking we we're going to get thanks killing quality. I just thought it was going to be a shitty horror movie, mm -hmm. and then it was literally bottom of the barrel up there with one of the worst films I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, now we're going to get into the uh, top ten. Before I go on, um, there wasn't really that many high-rated films this year. Um, what was our average? Uh, it's on the last video. <laughs> Number ten overall top best horror fest film. 1922 with 6.25 out of 10. Number 9 goes to The Taking of Deborah Logan, 6.4 out of 10. Surprised that it got. Number 8 goes to Hell House LLC, 6.5 out of 10. It's pretty much number 8 all the way across the board. <laughs> Hell House always leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Yeah. Because it's almost good, it's almost bad, it's so weird. Number seven was the new film this year, Halloween Kills, with a 6.85 out of 10. Uh, heard a frog. Um, but yes, the new film actually made the top 10 this year, which I'm actually pretty surprised it did. Just wait, wait you are? Yes, because most of the time the new film, every year, never makes the top 10. I don't believe you. Number six, the film that we hope to never see again because we've seen it too many times, Terrifier with 7.05 out of 10. Now we're getting into the top five. The top five of October Horror Fest. I wonder what it's going to be. Of the best overall. Um, number five, with a 7.25 overall rating, goes to Crawl. Dun, dun, dun. The alligators have reached in the top five. 
Number four, with a rating of 7.4 out of 10, was the first film we watched this year. Would you rather? It's the very first time the number one film we watched made the top five. <laughs> the number three, again, you're probably going to be surprised by this one. 7.6 out of 10, The Invitation. Yeah. Now, let's think about this. There's a common theme with the, uh, the best film this year. There are two movies that could be number one. Yeah, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say number two is probably The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And number one is probably Train to Busan. Is that what your guess is? Yeah, those are my guesses. All right, so number two with a score of eight out of ten goes to the very first slasher film to make the top five, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning ever. <laughs> The number one film for October Horror Fest this year is also something that's never happened before. It's the very first time a foreign film actually made the top made the top ten, made the top five, and got the number one spot with 8.85 out of 10 trained in this. And it's almost, and it's close to almost a perfect score. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised at just the fact that Train to Busan got the number one spot with it being one of the biggest surprise films of this year, I feel like. Because I, I, I only went into by, like, word of mouth on this movie, and I was thinking, it was, oh. It was a good film. Uh, oh, I delayed yeah. for a long time watching it, too, and then I was finally like, okay, well, I guess we're going to watch it now. So I would like to challenge you guys uh, periodically um, between now and probably a month in advance before we start it. So Please, don't make us pick the list again. What's the October? What's the November? Is that before October? Let us know by September what movies you want us to see next year for Horror Fest. Anyways, um, this is Mike Check 95 along with Krieger Margin 10. And we are signing out for this video. But um this. Yeah. Yeah.